Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, or good night. And welcome to the Major Web Podcast, the Learn Rivers and Channel. For us, by us. Today's date is August the 17th, 2024, Saturday. Our motto is suggest you live by faith. Now, if you wish to come and play this very enjoyable game, this is our meeting ID in our passcode. We play this game every Tuesday and Saturday at 7 Eastern, 6 Central, 5 Mountain for Pacific. Come by and let us enhance your mind by and soul with the word of knowledge, our trivia, and Black history. If you wish to donate to our ministry, you can do a cash app at Dollar Sign Majors Wear or do a Zelle at WimpyMajorsOutlook.com. I recommend everybody go to our YouTube page, do such a major wear, subscribe and make comments about the game. All right, D. Okay, guys. So today, we're doing something a little different. I used to have everybody, but we can play, we can play teams now on Black History. Okay, so tonight, on team one, I have that beautiful queen, Patricia. I got that big king, Tim. On team two, I got that awesome queen, Debbie. I got that touching king, Eric. On team three, I have that unique queen, Donnell. And I got that intelligent big king, Oscar. And on team four, I have the three beautiful queens, Leticia, Debbie, and Darnell. And on team five, I got the three kings. I got big Oscar, Tim, and Eric. All right, here we go playing Black History, getting started. First question, team one on the clock. Kidnapped and enslaved as a child from the kingdom of Benin modern-day Nigeria. He dedicated his life to abolishing slavery. After selling in Britain, he wrote about his experience as an enslaved person in his autobiography, which went on to have a powerful impact on slave trade. But his story deeply influenced the abolitionist, abolitionist cause and encouraged other foreign enslaved people to tell their stories too. On the clock only, Team one. Okay, can we start with a, an O? Is there an E? Is there an A? Is there an N? Is there an I? B. Is there, is there a Y, a yellow? Oh, Grace. Hey, that was. Is there L like Larry? Is there Let me get a like Thomas? Well, Grace, <laughs> I'm trying to be out, guys. Uh, Don't you Grace at you. Uh, uh, let is, me see. is there an H? H like Heather? Grace be moving too fast sometimes. <laughs> you know, like Grace, it comes like, like a twinkle of eyes, so like Bob's a twinkle of eyes. Boom. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Uh, 
Can we get a D? All right. I got two shots at it. I got four seconds. Um, F like Frank. One shot. Oh my God. C. Grace again. Q. Q. See, bro, I'm trying to help you out. See, I got love for y'all. All right. Okay. Next question. Team one. She was a poor working class woman in the 19th century, Britain, who didn't let anything get in the way of her passion collecting fossils. She became a fossil collector, dealer, and pathologist. And she wasn't any fossil collector. She became known worldwide for extraordinary finds she made in the Jordanian Marine fossil bed in the cliffs along the English Channel. What is her name? On the clock, on the team one, or y'all call Tyrone? Say we call Tyrone. Call Tyrone, okay. All right, here yeah, two or four. What y'all going with? Let's go with um number two. Looks familiar. You know what I need here, my daughter. You know oh, I need okay, no, <laughs> number two final answer. Okay, <laughs> and that's correct. That's correct. All right. All right, team two on the clock. He was enslaved and used his experience to augur the Babylonian. In 1706, he became the first African American to have a poem called An Evening Thought published. He's regarded as the founder of African American literature. On the clock, only team two. Debbie and Eric. Uh, let's try an evening. We got E, sir. How about an I? Got Is I? there a J? Got J. Is there a U? Okay, daughter. P. T R. Okay, Jupiter who? Hammond. M A M M O N. Woo! We got an ace. We got an ace. <laughs> okay. Uh, can we bow down to you, Debbie? O N. O N. That's correct. The queen, yeah, the queen has spoken tonight. Queen spoken tonight. <laughs> down, down, real quick. Okay. Yes, sir. Next question. As a young boy, his educational options were limited. Despite this, he worked his way into Yale College and was elected to the Honor Society of Phi Bayer Camel. Then he earned a doctorate in physics, becoming the first African American to earn a PhD in American in America. His passion for learning served as an inspiration to all others he taught. Who was he on the clock? Team two. Oh, we're gonna call on Tyrone. What y'all gonna do? Uh, one moment. One moment. I'm trying to see if he wrote any li literature because Latim Latimer, I think Latimer wrote literature. Uh. Can we call? Tyrone. <laughs> you can, and you can, daughter. We call Tyrone for you. Yeah, I, I support that. Let's make the call. I, well, I was calling him. Is he a okay, two? Okay, well, it's, it's three. You know what Final I need? Answer. Okay. I think it's him. <laughs> you are correct. You are correct, daughter. You are correct. All right. Oh. Okay. On the clock next is team three. 
Sister Megan was the first black woman to complete a solo motorcycle ride across the United States. She was born in Kingston in 1911 to a Jamaican father and a Dutch mother. She taught herself to ride her first motorcycle in 8, 1928 Indian Scott at the age of 18. She supported herself by doing motorcycle stunts at carnivals. In World War I, she became a civilian courier for the U.S. Army, completing a rigorous training program and ride her own blue 67 cubic inches Harley Davidson across for messages. On the clock, what's her name? Team three on the clock. Let's try an E. Got E, don't you? Two E's, A. Zero S. Oh, B. Alexa, stop. Oh. I. I. Um, is there a T? Okay. Oh, okay. R. N. G. F. The F? F. D. L. Oh. Uh, I'm sorry. All right, that's correct. Next question. He called himself a month of the a month of a dimension doctor. Why? Because he was a physician, inventor, and teacher. He was also invent a tool that allowed doctors to safely study patients' stomachs without needing to do surgery. He found. He fought to the end of discrimination in the medical field. He also paved the way for more doctors of color to follow his footsteps. On the clock, who was he? One, two, three, or four. We're going to call Tyrone. Number three on the clock. Mm, um, yeah, I don't know this one. We call him Tyrone? Let's see. Hey, I... We might have to call Tyrone. Okay. I got you. I got you, daughter. <laughs> okay, here, two or four. I feel like it's two. You know what I need here, daughter? I said two, Oscar. What, what do you say? Uh... I feel like it's, mm, yeah, it's number two. Let's go with number two. Final answer. Okay. That's correct. It's because, wasn't Guillaume Buford an astronaut? Yes, he was. Yeah. All right. Okay, number four o'clock, the ladies, the queens. <clears throat> Jamaican-born nurse, she, from 1805 to 1881, dedicated her life to the caring for the sick. After she, after her offer to help save lives as a nurse during the Crimson War in 1853 to 1856 in Eastern Europe, was rejected by the British government. She found her own trip to the battlefield. There she became known as Mother Blank by the grateful soldiers she cared for. Her remarkable achievements were never forgotten. On the clock, number four, the Queens. Is there, is there an A? Is there F? Is there E? Is there O? Is there I? Is there L? Is there C? Is there... Mm -hmm. Is there M? 
They are. Why? Bingo. <laughs> That's correct, ladies. That's correct. All right. Next question. He believed he could and should follow his dreams. He loved his love for airplanes took him to the United States Air Force where he flew compact missions instead of all fighter jets. He pursued graduate degrees in astrospace engineering and was selected to become a NASA astronaut. He became the first African American in space. His confidence inspired men to follow in his footsteps. On the clock, who was he? Only team four on the clock. One, two, three, or four, or we'll call in Tyrone. Two final answers. Look at my daughter. That's the truth. That's the truth. <laughs> right. That's the truth. All right. Team five on the clock. The brothers. Born 21st July 1962. It's the former chief executive of Society Carol Enterprise Turning Point. Currently Current chair of the NHS configuration and was one of the first individuals to become the people's peer, the people's peer. He was appointed as the commander of the Order of Britain, the British Empire, the EBE, in the year 2000, New Year, honor for service to the New Deal, the unemployed and homeless and young people. Who was he on the clock? The brothers. Now, this in Britain, brothers. This in Britain. It's not states. It's in Britain. I. Okay. Letter I. We got an I. We got an I. Is, is there an S? No S. Is there an A? Got an A. Uh, all right. Is there an N? No end. Yeah. No I, was gonna, no. I was gonna call for an S too. All right. Is, is there an A? I say let's try E. Try E. Let's try an E. We got E. Uh, okay. There's too many spaces available up there, so there's got to be more vowels. Um, you, you just can't run that many consonants together. All right. Is, there, is there, there's no way to like that? We got there you. Oh, it's already up there. Okay. Okay. How about an R? Something gore. Uh, Igor, um, what do you think about a G, everybody? Yeah, Thomas. go for it. All right, let's go, go. for a G. No G, yeah, too. Okay. okay. What, what about P? No P. Where, where is Grace when you want it? Grace is right there. Oh, dang. I think we should call for a, let's, let's call for a letter. We only got one option left. Let, let, let's get a W. Is that wake at the last one? Is that a wake, everybody? For Wade? Uh, that looks like an African name or something. I don't know. Yeah. So I'm thinking an L or a K. Oh, great. Victor. Victor. Yeah. Okay. Is there a C? Uh, C, yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm thinking of a W. No, we already have a W. Yep. And this is a British person, so they could have an African name. But just ask it. What do y'all think about why? I, I I would uh, I would rather we call. I think why is a good choice, but to be on the safe side because it's going to be all or nothing. 
So we may as well get another something. Oh, thanks. Out. B. Uh. Definitely African. Oh, Any D? Don't 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 do it yet. But, okay. God, okay. Victor. I don't know. Name can be a lot of things. Oscar, it's up to you, man. You always pull the rabbit out the hat. Oh, Grace. Grace showing up for y'all, y'all. Grace is showing up. Him. Yeah. All right. Uh. Okay, you want me to guess the last one? Okay. It's I'd guess a B. We already have a B. We got B. A B's up there already. Oh, okay. All right. Victor Alu something. Alu any. Uh. Eighty boa. A double. A double. Double wall. Come on, brothers. We have 51 seconds. Come on. Where do we go? Victor, um, um, I think we could call Tyrone on this one. And no Tyrone. Mm -hmm. oh. Wouldn't that be a J? I'm thinking a J would be good. Okay. All right, go for it then. Is that the final answer? Is that the final answer? What? Is that the final answer? Yeah. Os Oscar? Call Oscar. it, Os Oscar, you call it, bro. No, I don't yes, want to be the- Yes, we're out of time, yes. Y'all ran okay. out of time, guys. Y'all ran okay. out of time. No, y'all missing now. Y'all ran out of time. We okay, did. Jay. We did. It was an F. It was a what? An F. Oh. <laughs> we did. We did. That was a hard bit. one. Yeah. And I wasn't even in it. <laughs> cool. All right. Next question. The brothers. Anyone who makes a phone call wears a hearing aid or plays with a talking dog used to nod and made by him. He overcame the hardship of racism and wore to become one of the 20th century's most sufficient inventors. After a career that watched him attain more than 20, 200 patents, he went to work for the academy, passing on his knowledge to the next generation of inventors. On the clock, who is he? On the team five. Are we calling Tyrone? What y'all doing, brothers? Yeah, I got Tyrone on this one. Uh, we had this one before, and I know it's not James Maceo West. All right, could we do a lifeline? Okay, I got you. Lifeline. Call Tyrone. Oh. All right. We might need two of those. Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, it's number three then. Find out. Yeah. Okay. Number four. No. Oh dang. Yeah. I thought I thought he only created like um, the microphone. Hello? With the majors. Yeah, bro. <laughs> that looks bad. Oh, okay. Well I thought you I thought he created the microphone. Okay. So back at top, team one on clock. She, eighteen thirty one to eighteen ninety five, was the first African American woman to qualify as a doctor. She dedicated herself to treating women and children who lived in poverty. She treated patients regardless of their ability to pay and offer took no money for her work. On the clock, what's her name? Leticia and Tim, team one on the clock. Can we get an E? 
Please. Um, is there an A? Is there an I? Can we get an L? Okay, I think I know. Um, is there, is there oh, an R? Ah, there we go. R? Do you like boys? Can we get a C? You? you like umbrella? M? Like Mary? Do you like Peter? All right. All right, next question. He was born in the heart of the segregation of the segregation of the South. Despite the challenges this presented, he followed his passion for science and became a world-renowned neurosurgeon. Throughout his career, his skills with a scalpel and his medical discoveries helped countless patients. His innovations made changes to the field of neurosurgery forever. On the clock, who was he? Team one. Or we call him Tyrone. I'll say we call Tyrone. All right. right. Okay, daughter. I got you. Okay, either one or three. Okay. I was going for two, but I guess it's not two then. I got two minutes to pray about it. All right, Tim, we might have to. I want to say one, but I'm not sure. But do I know I need to hear? Okay. I'm going to do it. I'm going to take one for the team. Okay. Uh, one final answer. That's correct, daughter. That's correct. That is correct. All right. Team two on the clock. The warrior empress who fought off colony invasion as European countries regularly siege huge parts of Africa. Ethiopia was one of the just two African countries that were not able to, were able to resist. She from 1851 to 1918, the Empress of Ethiopia, helped to give her nation the hope and strategy it needed to overcome a much better supplied Italian army. What was her name on the clock only? Team two, Debbie and Eric. The star of the vows there, eh? <laughs> I think I read about this woman. Is there a T? Okay. Uh, why? Okay, you? I think I know this one. Is there an E? B? That's true. L? Amen. You are correct, daughter. All right. Mm. You are correct. Debbie. Right. Debbie. Yes? Is she the one? I, I, I think the Italians were advancing it. Is she is she the one with the female army? That or is she? I think she was the one to tell the people to keep advancing, even though the Italians have mechanized weapons. And as a result of her, they over they overran the Italians and sent them back home on a train. I think. I think that was her. That was, okay. Okay. Next question. Chemistry is the study of substance 
and how they behave. In the early 20th century, chemists were in high demand. He overcame racism and segregation to become one of the American leading chemists. He developed synthetic hormones and used them to fight various diseases. His work helped ease the pain of many sick people. On the clock, team two, one, two, three, or four, or calling Tyrone. Percy L. Julian. I support that. 100% yes. That's correct. That's correct. All right. Debbie's in the house. Yes, she is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, ladies. Okay, team, three o'clock. Impressive. Donnell and Oscar, here we go. One of the most well-known African-American entertainers, she from 1906 to 1975, gained international fame through dancing, singing, and acting in Europe. Though she faced discrimination in both U.S. and Europe, she used her fame to fight prejudice and even was a spy during World War II. What's her name on the clock on the Team 3? Jay. Jay. O. O. S. Yes. E. P. H. H. I. N. E. Come on, e go ahead. Yeah. Okay. R. Correct. Josephine Baker. You're such a good team. All right. Next question. In Fentus Rally Worth Alone, most could co cooperate with others to perfect their ideals and document their creations. In the late 1800s, American most renowned inventors turned to him. He worked with Hammond Mackets and Thomas Ellison on breakthrough inventions of incandescent lighting. He also worked with Alexander Graham Bell on the patent application for the telephone. Who was the one, two, three, or four? We call him Tyrone. Team three on the clock. Ab number four, final answer. Yeah, I think it's four. Absolutely correct. All right. Know y'all black history. Okay. All right. Team four on the clock, the Queens. A revolution activist. He, from 1918 to 2013, led a movement against apartheid, racial laws, and discrimination, discrimination against black Southern Africans. His struggle was equally for black Southern Africans resulted in him spending 27 years in prison. But he was free and became South Africa's first ever black head of state. On the clock, on Team 4. Nelson, N-E-L. M-A-N. Mandela. <laughs> D. That's correct, ladies. Nelson Mandela. All right. Next question. What was launched? The Freedom Riders in 1961. One, two, three, or four, we call him Tyrone. Wait. All the uh, I feel like we had this one. We had this one a couple times. Um, I'm thinking it's four, but I'm not 100%. Uh, geez, it's, um, three. You want to hear like you know what it is? Oh! Oh, y'all want to call Tyrone? I think it's three. You know what you think? Name? What you think, Danny? Uh -huh. Danny uh -huh. Three. Ooh. I don't know. I think it's three. I know I need to hear. No. Three. 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 Three
three final answer. I'll take it. I'll just take it. And you are correct, daughter. You are correct. There you go. Okay. <laughs> I think she knew it. She was just playing nice. around. Okay, now the brothers on the clock. A South African religious leader, activist, a Nobel Prize winner. He used nonviolent methods to campaign against apartheid. He coined the term Rainbow Nation in reference to apartheid South Africa, which was to be for the people for every color and ethnicity. On the clock, only team five. D E S M O N D T U T U Give to you. Y'all got it. Tutu. All right. Next question. <clears throat> One of her first products was liquid soap. But she was particularly interested in finding a way to straighten hair that didn't damage the health follicles. At the turn of the century, women often used baking grease. Heavy oils and butter straightened the hair. Who was she? One, two, three, or four on the clock. Only the brothers, or we call Tyrone. I think it's number two. You know what I need to hear? You want to call Tyrone? You want to go with number two, everybody? I'll have to call Tyrone. Okay, we call okay. Tyrone. How, how, how certain are you with number two? Pretty certain. Do y'all want to talk? I, I, I okay. think. I, 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 well, I, I'm confident, uh, Oscar. You, you, you just have a really outstanding uh, track record. <laughs> so, and, and not, I, I could, I, I would feel comfortable going to not tonight. But okay. Uh, all right, let's go with number. Uh, I think it's are you are you switching up? <laughs> Yeah, let's go with number two, fun answer. Now, is this the same one who's the first uh, millionaire? Is this the same woman who was the first millionaire for hair products? Correct. Nope, no, it's not. You think about me, Madam C.J. Walker? Right, yeah. Walker. Okay. All right, yeah. well, that's the game. Y'all got 18 right, two wrong. That was going mm -hmm. to bomb. He's so smart. Okay, hang in there, guys, and get the bobby in the side. Good call, Oscar. Good call.